You may have heard of it. It's a grueling 12-mile obstacle course through the muddiest of terrains, and it's called the Tough Mudder. While some competitors raise money for charities, others compete for the sheer bragging rights. So we sent our own Don Adorable to check it out. Yes, How you did. Yes, yes, you did. Yes. Guys, it was hard work, I have to yeah. say, but it was so much fun. How I really had fun? a great time. You did? I'm always up for an adventure. Yes. I headed out to Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, and got to play around in the mud. And let me tell you, I quickly realized yeah. that the only thing getting me through that course what? was teamwork. Okay, all right. <laughs> Since 2010, the Tough Mudder has challenged its competitors to a dirty 12-mile assault of obstacles and endurance. This year alone, there will be more than 130 events in nearly 12 countries. I was definitely nervous at first, but with the excitement growing and my team by my side, I knew I was in good hands. First up, the Mud Mile. Competitors wade and run through a series of waist-deep water pits about 15 yards wide. A five-foot wall separates each pit. <laughs> Next, it was time to conquer the Ladder to Hell. At a whopping 20 feet off the ground, this obstacle is one of the tallest on the course. All these obstacles and more are the creation of Will Dean, who met up with me on the Kiss of Mud. It's really a balancing act, and it's not a race, it's a challenge. That's right. I wanted to create something that was very different from the events that were out there before, like marathon, triathlon, it's all about the individual. At Tough Mudder, we make everyone work together. You know, the research shows if you're the kind of person that helps someone, you're a happier person. That spirit of community is alive in Will's new book, It Takes a Tribe, which chronicles the stories of a few past competitors and supplies life lessons along the way. You can't do any one of these single challenges without a tribe. It is a tribe, and one of the things I'm really proud of is the fact that everyone welcomes everyone here. The book um, talks about 10 or so different mudders, each with inspiring stories, people that have overcome amazing things to be in at a Tough Mudder. One of those guys is Jim Campbell, who's now done 130 Tough Mudders, more than anyone else. He's done Tough Mudders on four different continents. This is your 130th challenge. Today. Why do you keep coming back? It's infectious, and once you're around those kind of people that inspire you, I mean, you can't not come back. That's what Tough Mudder's all about. And we're making people happier, healthier, and feeling better about themselves afterwards. You know, you have to kind of face those challenges, and you overcome obstacles. Some of them are scary, and that's what you know, the ethos of the event's all about. Scary is an understatement, but in the end, the feeling of victory is like no other. And like the book states, it truly takes a tribe to complete the course. Wait, did it get in your mouth? I'm full of surprises. It actually did at one point. I was trying to get up a, an obstacle and there was something in my mouth. And I was like, hold on, gotta get this one. Oh. But it was so much fun. What, what I truly, like I truly felt on top of the world afterwards. I felt like I could accomplish anything. And I highly recommend anyone go get a tribe, get your group going. You will feel on top of the world. Really? All right. you and you're ready. strong, but that looks really hard. Good it, for you. Like my idea of hell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. But first, this is today on NBC. Great job, Dean.